the throne of the house of Israel. And uh, let, me, let me grab a precept real fast. Because that's, that's talking about the Messiah. That the Messiah will, will, will come of the lineage of David as a righteous heir, the, the, the rightful king of the nation of Israel, that, that he will he will he will die and be rose from rose from risen he will rise from death and he will go and sit at the right hand of the most high. So 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 Yahweh Shai lives forever. And not only is he is he the king, but he's also the priest. So this is Acts 2 and 29. It says, Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he he is both dead and buried in his sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a, a prophet and knowing that, that the Most High has sworn an oath to, to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he will raise up Mashiach to sit on his throne. He seeing this before spake of the resurrection of, of Mashiach, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. You know, because our Lord didn't die and his, and, and, his, and, his, and his body was left in the grace. He rose back up and he, and he lived again. And eventually what happened? And he was taken up and into, the, into the spirit world and now he sits on the right hand of the Most High. So David will never want a man to sit on a, on a throne. And because we have the Messiah that's, that's, uh, who's of the blood lineage of David, who's ruling forever. But who did he come for? He came for the nation of Israel. Uh, first, uh, this is back in uh, Jeremiah 33 and 18. It says, Neither shall the priests, uh, the Levites, want a man before me to, to offer burnt offerings and to kindle meat offerings and to, to do sacrifice co to continually. And, and what, what was, the, what was the, 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 the job description of the Levites? What were they set up to do? They were set up to make atonements for who? For the nation of Israel when they were seen and go off. Doesn't the scripture tell you in the book of Hebrews that the Messiah is a uh, that the Messiah is 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 a is a priest after the order of Mel Melchizedek, which which Melchizedek he had no beginning and he had no end, he had no mother and father, and if you can receive it, Melchizedek before before he came as the Messiah was a Messiah, man, and and that's and that's something spiritual. There's a such thing as as, as reincarnation. Melchizedek, which which means uh, Malak Tazadak, the King of Righteousness. What was the title of, of our Lord and Savior? The King of Righteousness. That's right. Where was Mel, what Melchizedek from? He was from the land of Shalom. He was from the land of peace. He was al Salaka. It, it, it said that he was the King of of, of Salem. Uh, uh, yeah, Salem, uh -huh. which is the King of Shalom, the King of Peace. That's that's the Messiah. But, but he was reincarnated as, as, as the Messiah and, and named Yahawashite during this time. You know, but he's a priest after the order of, of uh, Melchizedek, who before the Levites was even established as the, as the priest, before Aaron was, was, was even a twinkling in the eye of Abraham. You know, he was the priest of the Lord, man. Yeah. You know, so we have, we have a king that reigned forever, and we have a priest. And that priest offers up atonement. Well, he offered up an atonement for the children of Israel, beginning with the elect. Uh, uh, read it, read it down. It says, "In the in the word of of Yahweh came unto Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith Yahweh, If you can break my covenant of the day and my covenant of the night." And, and that there should not be day nor night in their season, then may also my covenant be broken with David, my servant, that, that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne and with the Levites, the priests, my ministers. As, as the host of heaven cannot be numbered, neither the sand of the sea measured, so will I multiply the seed of David, my servant, and the Levites that, that minister unto me. Moreover, the word of, of the Lord came unto Jeremiah, saying, Considerest thou not what this people have spoken, saying, The two families which Yahweh have chosen, uh, he have even cast them off. Because you got, you got individuals that will say that the children of Israel are done away with. 
that the Lord ain't dealing with them no more. They crucified the Messiah. That's another thing that that Muslim guy was saying. That they turned on, 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 on because they called him Messiah, or uh, Yahweh they called him Isa. Saying that he turned on Isa. All of the, all of the disciples didn't turn on, on Yahweh You had a bunch of Israelites that believed on him, man. They didn't turn on him. There was, there was some Israelites that did, but not all of them. But even a lot of them that, that turned on the Messiah and offered them up, a lot of them repented. That's what Acts the second chapter was about. Hey, hey Peter said unto them, ye have he crucified and hang on a tree. But, but he said that repentance was offered unto them. So a lot of those Israelites repented, man. Precept. Yahweh Shai represents that new covenant for the house of Israel. That's right. Precept. Only. This brother was talking about. This is uh, Romans 11 and 1. It says, I say... The, I say then, have not the Most High cast away his people? Would, have cast away his people? God forbid. So it says right there, he didn't cast away his people. That's that's what everybody say. It says, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. But he ye not that the, what the scripture has said on Elias, how he maketh intercession for, to the Most High, uh, against Israel saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down and thine altar, dig down thy altar, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the most high unto him? I have served, I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. It says, even so then at that present time also there is a remnant According to the election of grace. Okay, can you grab 26? Huh? Verse 26. Verse 26. Huh? Verse 26. Uh, verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall be there shall come out of Zion the deliverer. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. It says that that the, that the deliverer shall do what? Turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Kind. So so that's talking about the Messiah. You know, he's the deliverer, and he's turning ungodliness from Jacob. And eventually, all Israel is going to be saved, and you're going to have two thirds of the nation of Israel that perish from this side. But they're going to be uh, they're going to come back to us. You know, because the spirits don't die. So their spirits is going to come back to us and they're going to be in righteousness in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Time. Yeah. Brother, yeah. brother got one. Oh. Right there. Yeah. So no, yeah. because the, hey, the Lord hasn't com completely cast off his people, man. What he, what he did was he, he punished us. He's chastising us because of our sins and our iniquities. You know, and he, he used the other nations to do it. He didn't, he didn't put us in this position for us to be totally destroyed. And he did it for us to, to, to humble up, man. That's right. Now, this, is, uh, this is Hosea 1 and 9. It said, the Most High, call his name lo Ami, for ye are not my people. And I would not be your power. God, because it was said by the Most High that we're not his people. You know, because because we sinned against the Lord. We broke his law, statutes, and commandments. And the Most High was angry unto us. But, but the, what does the scripture say? In the place where it was said unto, unto you that you are not my people, you shall be called what? Go ahead. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. And then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. <coughs> Hey, Jezreel is another name for Israel, man. That's right. You know, so hey, hey, in the place where we were said unto, unto us, we are not the children of the Most High Heavenly Father. It, it's, it's, it's being said unto us what? That, that we are, you know? 
No, and that's that's here in America. And here in America, we were called niggas. You know, we were called uh, spicks. You know, we were called everything but what we are. But now it's being revealed that we are the true Israelites. Right. Our people are waking up. They're hearing this message that's being preached. They're understanding that salvation is only for them. They understand that the so-called white man is, is Edom according to the Bible. That's right. Not Jeff. You know? And not, not Ishmael. Yeah. Uh, uh, finishing up in, uh, in uh, Jeremiah, it says, Consider as thou not uh, what this people have spoken, saying the two families which, which Yahweh have chosen, he have even cast them off. Thus have, have uh, thus they have despised my people, that they should uh, be no more a nation before them. Thus saith Yahweh, if my covenant be not with day and night, and if I have not appointed the ordinance of heaven and earth, then will I cast away the seed of Jacob and David my servant, so that I will not take any of his seed to, to be rulers over the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I, I will cause their captivity to return and have mercy on them. You know, so hey, the scripture is saying that the Lord will have mercy on us. But what is he going to do unto the wicked that, 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 uh, that put us in captivity? You know, that harmed us. This is, I was laying back off what the brother had previously when he said this is a uh, Romans 8 16 it's Romans 8 16 it says the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high that's right it says and if the children the heirs heirs of the most high and joint heirs with your house shot if so be that we suffer with it that we may be also glorified together. So through the, all these things that we have, we go through the persecution, the things of the suffering, being out here looking foolish in front of everybody. Hey, this is a little suffering. It's a light affliction that we're going through, even through the, 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 the regular day-to-day -day things that we got to go through. Police shooting us. The damn, the, the, the damn white man is still killing our people. And, it, and, and he acted like he had nothing to do with it because that was 100 years ago. You're still doing it every day, you know? But in due time, all this stuff is gonna flip around on you, That's you know. Right. So all this suffering that we go through is to to to, to, to sharpen us up and to, to tune us up. So when you out that day and that when that destruction comes, we we'll know because the scriptures talk about martial law. The scriptures talk about it's gonna be a destruction. Brothers' dreams have been coming out about destruction of this place, man. That's right. So the destruction is coming upon America. That's and right. It's gonna be disseminated, destroyed by angels. That's right. right. Yeah. We're going to destroy this. He go, they're going to destroy this place. Then you're going to see the Lord, you call Jesus Christ, angelically call Jesus Christ, come down and, and help destroy this place. That's right. right. That's right. Good. You know? All right. Go ahead. You still got that God. This, God, is, God. <laughs> this is Hebrews 8 and 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, but I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Now according to the covenant that I made with their fathers and the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. And, and that's, what, that's what New Testament means. When you look at the word testament, the word testament just simply means covenant. So you have the, you have the Old Testament, which, which the word testament means covenant. That's the old covenant that was established with the nation of Israel. But then you have the New Testament, which is the new covenant that was established with the nation of Israel. If you if you understand just just that simple thing, that will that will ch that will change your understanding of, of, of the, the old and new testament. That would that would go to show you that, that that the new testament is for the nation of Israel, man. I declare and I decree because they can continue not in my covenant and I regarded them not, says the Lord, for this is the covenant. That I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind. And we're gonna be it's gonna be in our mind when the kingdom come. It's gonna be we're gonna have it already instilled in us instead of right here. Cause right now we got a stony heart. And then the fleshly heart should come when we're in the kingdom. Cause at this moment, he gotta see faith on this earth, man. He, he, he gotta show that faith gotta be shown to the Oh yeah, you can't come. 